The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the July 2nd uh, edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, uh, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, persevering through a bout of uh, vertigo. So I'm going to dispense with the normal opening of the show. However, I uh, would love to be able to be of assistance to you. So feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, you can still send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Just put the radio show question in the subject heading of that email if you would and of course in the tiger's den as uh, john has already done you can post any question that you want so let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific tuesday of course this is tiger financial news network i'm steve rhodes welcome to the show right now the dow trading down all the indices are in the red that's including the spot volatility index i wouldn't read too much into uh, that with light trading we're in the entire fourth of july summertime trading out here so we won't read too much into that we'll go take a look at the patterns and provide you with some price projections of what may be going on we'll take a look at gold which is up 17 bucks that's where really we're going to we're really where we're going to uh, start uh, the uh, day you've got silver only up uh, four cents out there so um, so what is it behind the news in gold uh, actually I'm not even watching the boob tube or anything just kind of laying still laying low so to speak out there so I don't know was it an Iranian threat or something or who knows but regardless of that we'll take a look at the patterns uh, that are out there lead the charge the upside today uh, individual stock wise you've got mercado, mercado libre up 10 bucks one and six tenths percent shopify up eight nearly three percent equinix up eight that's one and a half percent riley automotive seven uh 60 that's two percent to the downside lending tree is having a tough day I, I don't know if it's much volume or not doesn't appear to be 122,000 shares out there and I mean that that would seem light but it's off 17 bucks or four percent acuity brands down nine bucks almost nine bucks at six percent to the downside um amazon is off uh, seven so let's go to the first question that came in first two questions actually that came in uh from john in the tiger's den and the question really uh specifically say says this uh with regard to the gold contract 1385 the low out there do i see that as a bottom my answer is no, I don't. But And let me just kind of step you through the charts that I'm looking at to explain, um, to explain why. First, let's start with the bigger picture out there. Always helps to understand the bigger picture. And in essence, that is the monthly time frame chart out here. So that's this chart. Now, at the top of the chart is the uh, gold contract. It's the continuous contract out here. So we've got all of the historical data. The bottom of it happens to also be the GDX. You'll see on the um, gold contract, you'll see several yellow lines. You'll see some dash lines out there. Those dash lines really dealing with a, a resistance level. It takes you back into August of 20. 2013. The high out there was 1434. It was tested. It was rejected. Our price closed below that. Yesterday was a pullback to another area of resistance out here, and that was from March of 2014. That's at 1392. We're trading at 1407. It is a possibility that you know, look, I, until I see gold break out above the uh, 1434 level out here. Um, then I don't think that this was this was a this was a real break in price movement that we saw off of the uh, lows out here. But I don't think that it is a breakout movement. And instead, I see this as gold pulling back. Now, we'll, we'll take a look at the larger picture. That's what we've just done here, and we see the resistance. Now, let's step things back a bit. And when I say step things back a bit, let's take a look at the weekly chart. Now, if you are a person an individual that likes the A to B equals CD pattern, well, then you will love this chart out here. Now, the beauty about the A to B equals CD pattern is that it doesn't complete until it generates a bullish or bearish reversal signal out here, a candle. 
Well, in the case of the gold contract, what it did last week was it completed the one-to-one -one move. That was at 1438 and generated a shooting star candle. That is a bearish reversal candle out here. So this suggests that the top is in when I take a look at what went on on the longer-term monthly chart. So that's the pattern there. Now, it's always possible I'm wrong. I mean, eh, that that's a given out here, but we do have a completed pattern. So we have the monthly completed pattern, last month that is, price making its way up to resistance. The weekly says, hey, guess what? I just completed an A to B equals CD, generated the bear, the required uh, bearish reversal signal, says, okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm toast, that's it, I'm going to go ahead and pull back out here. If we take a look at the uh, daily time frame chart, well, this completed the TD setup nine count pattern out here. And, uh, you know, look, if today, here's the deal, if today you see gold close back below 1404.50, this was nothing more than just a simple counter trend rally up to Stevie's resistance line, that's the oscillator on change line. Now at 1406, two bucks above that, is that going to blow my skirt up? The answer is no, it's not. So now if the highs get taken out, 1434, well then I was dead wrong. But the patterns out here, monthly says top, weekly says top, daily says top out here. Okay, so then if that's what you say, the charts say, Steve, then, then why this big rally out here? Well, let's take a look at the two-hour time frame chart out here for gold. Uh, why the two-hour time frame chart? The reason for the two-hour, the 120-minute time frame chart out here, I guess I'm going to change this to 120 and I'll come back to it. But the reason for that is the following. Here is the 120-minute time frame. And, and even in this morning's newsletter, you know, I suggested to um, to subscribers that uh, gold had formed at least a short-term bottom. Why? Because here is a perfect setup on the uh, two-hour time frame chart. You'll see the Gartley buy pattern. And remember, every Gartley buy pattern has five potential different outcomes. So we have to continue to watch the short-term um, price patterns out here to see if there's a top or anything. But here's the perfect. So this was a, you can see the green shaded uh, butterfly uh, wings, so to speak, what we call butterfly wings out here. That's your Gartley buy pattern. I'm going to turn that off. Just click that off. What else was going on out here? Well, what else was going on was you had a Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom. When this little bullish engulfing candle formed, this took place at about uh, 20 hundred hours yesterday. That was a sign of a bottom. So you've got the Gartley buy on the two-hour chart. You've got the Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom. Then this suggested that price would go ahead and bounce up. Now, what I had done was I had suggested to subscribers that we would see a bounce up to 1399 or a close above that, which is what took place at noon. It, we could see a bounce all the way up to its TD setup breakdown level. That's that green solid line at uh, 1419. That's still the case. However, if you just take a look at a trend line, the trend line, and I'm pretty much on it, although I'm a bit dizzy. So, you know, I'll try not to give you dizzying things out here. But if you just take a look at the trend line from the highs, um, and when I'm referring to highs, I'm looking at about two o'clock in the morning back on the 25th, it looks like, and about uh, 2200 hours on the 27th out here. And you can see see that uh, you've got that diagonal trend line resistance level out here. What's Larry call that? His 135 pattern or something like that or his 20 man line? Well, look what, folks. We're in bar number nine of a TD setup nine count. Hey, if you're long from an intraday standpoint, not a bad time to take some profits or at least move your stop. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Don't miss the last chance to sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner at just $97 a month. Starting July 1st, we're raising the price to $197 a month. This is your last chance to lock in the $97 rate for as long as you remain a subscriber. And as always, new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk. Don't miss this last chance to sign up at the low rate of just $97 a month. Sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Now, uh, you know, let's say let's say that I'm wrong with regard to the call. Remember, there's a Gartley buy pattern inside the uh, two-hour time frame chart. The reason why it's a Gartley buy pattern was because of the hammer candle that occurred at 2 o'clock in the morning on uh, yesterday, July the 1st out there. So you got to watch that 1384.70. Now, as I mentioned, this is a Gartley buy pattern, which uh, there's always five different potential outcomes. Outcome number one is a dead cat bounce or 0.382 retracement. That would take price to 1406.90. We're trading at 14.0740. So that level has been attained. Now, there was a wide ranging bar at 12 noon, widest ranging bar that took us up into that level. So, watch the next several hours out here. If you just see a sideways movement, it's very possible that the move higher is over. If price does move higher, then the next level would be 14.20 out there. My suggestion would be to tighten uh, the stop out there. Hey, let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Steve. You take care of yourself. We need you healthy. Hey, no problem out there. No problem. I am, but, uh, you know, I miss not doing the show. So uh, um, one step at a time. So you've got some general market questions out here. Uh, fire away. Well, this is kind of like a twofer because you're going over gold. That was my other question. You just did a great job with that. Okay. I wanted to see if you couldn't go over uh, – some of your uh, seasonality work that you do, I'm not sure if it's really following what you thought was going to happen. If you could just kind of go over that, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. So let me pull that up. And what what uh, what Brent is referring to, folks, specifically, and I just got to open up another window out here. It's going to be this chart specifically. And um, and what what? Wow, why why is that happening? Okay. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So, Brett, here is the here's the one-year seasonal cycle based upon the last 86 years worth of data from the uh, Dow. 
<laughs> if we were if we were going to be date specific Brent, and, and I'm not, I use this as more of the general seasonal cycle. I use the time frames um, more to look for topping patterns per se. Now, this is for the Dow. So what I'd like to do, I guess, in taking the seasonal work one step further would be for us to go ahead and, and, and then take a look at the Dow to, in essence, overlay it on this. Typically, what we see is, uh, and, and I, I, had, I had intended on doing this on Sunday, but things just kind of went kind of crazy and I didn't get a chance to. But typically, during this time frame, we see the Dow make a, uh, a temporary high around May 19th, moves down into a low around June 25th, and then we see a little bit of a summertime rally that takes us higher into July 21st before the market then moves to the downside. So are we, is this the pattern that's underway? Well, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I think we are in this cycle pattern here where we've seen some sideways movement and we've seen the May high actually get taken out, or I think we were close to getting taken out. Let me just take a look at the Dow itself. I think it was close, really close. Um, well, this is still the two-hour time frame chart. Let me switch this back to the daily. So, so really pretty darn close out here. Uh, but the problem with the Dow, Brent, is as follows. And I'm going to pull that chart up. And the problem is that I don't see a topping signal just yet. And so if we take a look at the uh, Dow time, we, if we take a look at the Dow chart, we're close, but no cigar. So what I mean by that, folks, what I mean by that, Brent, is if you take a look at the last, the previous high inside of the Dow cash indice out here, it generated one of those roads momentum indicator signals. Price was moving higher, new and less relative energy. You got your first bearish reversal signal on April 25th, two days later, when price gapped to the downside. You got a secondary signal on May Day when you had a bullish and golfing session out here. Now, when the Dow made a bottom back here in uh, June, June 3rd, um, it was really on the 4th, the following day, when we received the bullish reversal signal. That was also with the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom out here. Um, and we had that bullish reversal candle, the Three River Morning Star. Now, Brent, when we take a look at what transpired yesterday with that push higher, it was only the Dow that has generated the potential of a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. Now, today, there's no way for this signal to effectuate itself because we're not going to get a bearish reversal candle. Uh, it would be better, if you're looking for that, to see some type of up close today inside the Dow. And then tomorrow, some type of uh, down close. That could get the bearish reversal or bearish sash candle out there. So I think we're close to that July 21st top out there when we take a look at the Dow pattern. Uh, this would say that we are um, a few weeks ahead of time, like about three weeks, but the cycles can shift a bit out here. So this is what I'm watching when I take a look at the seasonality that you had me uh, bring up and take a look at, and then take a look at the Dow patterns out here. So if the Rose Momentum Indicator top worked back out here in April and most specifically by May 1st. And then it worked again at the bottom on June 4th. If we do get a bearish reversal signal and this pattern is out here, and especially if we get a close below Stevie's green line, which is 26,575 right now, what are the chances that this is a fairly significant top? I say they're really good chances. So that's what I see when I take a look at it. I don't have any other pattern other than, th than this, but this is a very powerful pattern. Uh, for helping to identify uh, when markets bottom and top, how to buy bottoms and top. Heck, we just looked at it in gold when we looked at the uh, two-hour time frame chart and pattern out there. So it's a pattern worth paying attention to, but I don't see it happening today. Um, more likely than not, Brent, because we're in this uh, July 4th in holiday trading and light market trading, you'd think that we'd see an up market tomorrow on a shortened trading day or perhaps even on Friday. And so maybe it's not until next week week that the pattern uh, forms. But instead of forecasting the day, um, let's just wait for a bearish reversal candle, as long as this pattern is still in play. Okay, yeah, it sounds like you're basically on the same page I am. I, I'm getting the sense where, you know, we're getting up to that level of the consolidation again, the top of it. Yes. We haven't broken through that. You know, now we're just waiting, like you said, for the signal that, that potentially we have a top. So that's, you've answered the question perfectly. I appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for the question. Thanks for uh, asking. And uh, have a happy 4th of July. Do the same, Steve. You take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks Sounds again. Sounds great.
You bet. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Now, to, to go along with Brent's question out here, the the other topping pattern that is in play it comes from the New York Stock Exchange. Not the not the actual New York Stock Exchange chart itself. For example, let me pull over the New York Stock Exchange chart. And, no one, and what I mean by that is we don't have the same roads momentum indicator top pattern. We don't have a TD setup nine count. We don't have a seventh wave move. Heck, we only have wave number three using the Chapman wave counts out here. So I don't have anything inside. If I were just to look at this New York Stock Exchange chart, I would say there's no topping signal in play. But when it comes to the New York Stock Exchange, you and I are fortunate enough that we get the opportunity to take a look at the New York Stock Exchange and its advanced decline um, oscillator, which is the difference, which is just take a look at the advanced decline line which is nothing more than the accumulation of net advancing and declining issues out there. And then the oscillator, and that's panel number three, looks at that line and it takes the difference between the 19 and the 30 day exponential moving average to create the number out here. Here's the important thing as we go to break. We have a declining tops pattern in the advanced decline oscillator, but we have a rising tops pattern in price inside the New York Stock Exchange. You look at all my other green lines. Has that been important? I believe so. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, another question or several questions that came in. I want to get back to the other question that uh, John and the Tigers Den had asked earlier, and that was uh, with regard to the um, the September contract for Treasury bonds. And the question, in essence, was what was the price that uh, you were looking at, John? It was uh, 156.19, and we're at 156.02. And 156.19 is just a couple of ticks above the uh, June 20th high out there. And the question was, would that be a good um, spot to give a, a short trade. So here's what we know right now. Price is trading above the top of its daily profile, 155.28. I don't know if it will close above that, but if it does, that's in essence short-term bullish. But it's competing against a Rhodes momentum indicator topping signal pattern out here, confirmed pattern out here. Here's the daily time frame on that. So we'll pull this over, and we can see that price was moving higher, doing less relative energy, generated that bearish reversal signal out here. So as long as price doesn't close over that high, I think it was 17 ticks out there. This pattern is still in play, and so my answer would be, yeah, that would be um, that would be a good spot to consider to consider a uh, a short. If I look at a 30-minute time frame chart out here for T bonds, um, that top may be in. When I say maybe in uh, on the 30 minute time frame, we do see that the so so far the high of today's trading session was a TD set up a nine count. So, you know, here's another spot. If you were aggressive and you wanted to uh, take a short, here's an, you know, and you could just just a, a few ticks, whatever your normal stop might be out here. Um, you know, so that's what I would be paying attention to. Um, with regard to the 30 years. So I hope that that helps you out. That's really all that I've got uh, for uh, that out here. Um, let's go to the, some other questions that have come in by email out here. The first one for SAT, S-A-T-P, and the question is, um, can I suggest a price to buy a few shares of DOCU, D-O-C-U? So let's go to our three time frame charts out here. Let's go see what uh, they are suggesting for us. And you're looking for an entry point. So what we can see is this is trading right now at, at 51.58. Today, price is trading above the top of its daily profile. It's below the bottom of its weekly. And we don't have enough data on a monthly or quarterly basis to provide us with any assistance out here. What else do we know? Did this thing, and So the question is, did this form a bottom when it made that high volume low back on June 7th? There were it's about 21 million shares out there. Well, let's open up our other chart and see what patterns, if anything, we have out here. Um, let's do a, uh, we can see an A to B equals CD to the downside. Let's do a wave count first. Got to wave number F. Uh, you and I like to look for wave number seven, wave number G. Uh, there was the completion of, uh, in essence, a 1 to 1.272, A to B equals CD. That's when this hammer candle formed on June 14th. Um, so that would have given you one possible uh, entry area. Let me just turn the pattern off. Um, just looking for anything else that's, that is out here. So with regard to DocuSign, I don't have, and I'm not showing you the weekly and the monthly. It doesn't, I won't waste your time. There's no bottoming signal on my other time frame charts out here. So now you're asking for a, um, you're asking for a, an entry point. You know, I would say that today could be could be could be that day if you want to give it a shot out here. You know, price had come back, bounced off of Stevie's red line. Ideally, you'd like to see it close over the high of June 26th out here. That's at 51.57. You're at 51.59. Resistance on this, uh, you got to be be careful out here because you have one. Well, you have one, two, three higher lows out here. So maybe all this is doing is a little counter trend rally to make uh, its fourth higher uh, low out there. So just be careful um, as you enter this because we don't have we don't have what I would say is the most solid of bottoms. Yes, there was an A to B equal C D. Yes, there was a hammer candle out here, um, and, and it's valid buying pattern uh, set. Uh, so y y I'm assuming you've been watching this for some reason, um, for the reason to enter out here. Uh, the other level to be watching is 53.29. That's Stevie's green line out here. Um, so that's something to pay attention to. So uh, if you if you want to go for it, uh, you said just a few shares, then uh, fire away with regard to DOCU. 
Um, uh, thanks, James. I appreciate those uh, messages out here. Uh, no other requests other than that. And uh, John wants to, oh, John as well, appreciate that uh, message. And wants to take a look at a six month view of MAXR. So let's go take a look at what MAXR is out here for John. Let's look at the same thing the daily, the weekly, the monthly. Wow, well, a nice, nice trading session today. Nice wide ranging bar. From a weekly perspective, price is trading over 905. It's trading. 936. That's the top of its uh, uh, of its uh, weekly profile. I don't know what it's going to look like on Friday. Um, what price is doing is. Um it's moving higher, doing less relative energy. Never really a great thing. Now, it's a widest ranging bar today. So that says that we're likely to see price moving higher. But you, you always have to be careful about this pattern. Look, when it formed a low out here back on March 30th, it was that same pattern, only the opposite, the bottoming version of it. Um, I don't have, you know, the positive is that it took out this little shooting star, which was a TD setup nine count from looks like June 25th out here. Uh, so that looks like, okay, this thing could head higher, head higher to where, let me come back to the other chart and open this up, make sure that I've got all the data on my my other time frame chart. Um, hmm. Okay, so this, this may have had a ton of accumulation along the bottom. This is Maxar Technology. I don't know anything about it. Maybe uh, David White does out here, but but right now, John, it looks it looks fairly decent. I would I would look at it this way: the volume from May fifteenth was six point five million shares, and you're at six point four million shares. So so there is a valid A to B equals C D to the upside. I don't know if you're in it, you're looking to get in it. Normally, you know, I don't suggest to folks to buy the so-called breakout of the A to B equals C D pattern. I, I'd rather focus on buying or selling the D point, but you don't have that option here. But this is a valid breakout with volume as long as it closed over nine oh five, and this would suggest to you that price is headed to eleven oh. It's got the average daily range of 59 cents, so any stop has to be more than 59 cents. It's possible this will make more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the upside. So uh, you've got what appears to be a confirmed A to B equals CD in Maxar Technologies today. Uh, it can resolve that Rhodes Wintum indicator pattern out here. It just has to get uh, more uh, relative strength, um, which it most certainly can do. So. Remember, not until there's a bearish reversal candle does that pattern uh, really even come into the play. And the same is true with regard to the A to B equals CD to the upside. See, 1101 is just a price projection. Only 60% only of your A to B equals CDs uh, complete a one-to-one. -one. So how do you know if it's a 60%er or a 40%er out there? Very simple. The cavalry will tell you. The bulls and the bears will tell you. You'll see a... Uh, you will see a uh, you will see a, uh, a bearish reversal candle out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to Maxar Technologies. A couple of, couple of comments in the den I'll just pass on to you from knowledgeable individuals. Say, Maxar, unreal IPO and fleece the buyers. Crooks, question mark. Hey, it still looks like it's headed higher. 1101 is Stevie's call on July 2nd. Steve Rose with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Um, welcome back, uh, folks. So Lee Lee B writes in, and uh, he wants to uh, says, "Hey Steve, I picked up uh, IWM on the pullback this morning. Uh, can you give me your short-term diagnosis? I mean, in the next several uh, days." And uh, so, so Lee, and, and thanks for the, the the kind wishes out here. So, and one of the reasons I I would believe, although Lee didn't say, and one of the reasons why he bought into it is is here you have a, a so-called confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. What do I mean by that? Well, the swing point for that is June twentieth. That had seventeen point six million shares, and uh, yesterday. Uh, July 1st out here on really light on a light volume day, so to speak, in the market. Summertime, July 4th. Uh, yeah, 23 million shares uh, take that out. Now, the high of that session was 156.22, and the close yesterday was 156.10. So it didn't close above it, so to so to speak. So it always makes this like. It almost feels like you have vertigo here with regard to the IWM. Your head's spinning. So so what is it? So when we take a look at the IWM, um, as you know, Lee, I'm going to switch over to take a look at the Russell 2000 Equity Futures contract. And and the, and the one that I showed to subscribers this morning was this one. This was the two-hour time frame chart. And what I wanted them to take a look at was a couple of things. One, uh, the, the Rose Momentum Indicator top and bottom pattern. We can see how the Russell 2000 on two-hour time frame generated a bottom signal with that pattern, generated the top signal out here with that same pattern out there, a little key reversal session that had completed. And now it appears because price on the two hour time frame is trading below the bottom of a bullish structured box out here. Here's what we didn't know this morning, but we still drew the pattern in because of the rose momentum indicator top was just simply that um, that there was a possibility that this is creating a Gartley buy pattern. So you've got an A to B equals CD to downside. You are what appears to be in bar six of a TD setup. Now count out here and price may be just simply making that a to b equals cd to the downside now the one-to-one -one price projection says 154860 so lee that says that you may be early on your trade now we'll look at a 30-minute chart out here just to just to confirm that i don't want you to take 
let's say, unnecessary action. I want you to be able to at least anticipate the message of the markets, and then you take whatever action. So right now, on a two-hour time frame, this says there may be a Gartley buy pattern that would be forming. That Gartley buy pattern, if we want to go ahead and really show a pretty chart out here, we can draw. Uh, well, I would show show you that pattern, but apparently I've, I've got some other issue with the system. But uh, and there's also the breakout level. So, so the breakout level on the two-hour time frame, just so you know what that price is, it's uh, 1550. So at 1550 to 1548 60, you've got the 1 to 1 A to B equals C D. You've got a support level. If price gets down to that 1550 area, uh, B. If price gets down towards that level and completes the TD setup nine count, pretty good chance that that could be your entry point. That would be your Gartley buy pattern. Now, what happens if price continues to move lower, which is very possible out here? So let's go to Stevie's advanced warning radar, radar Doppler system out here, and it appears there's a brand new profile that's trying to form. Now, this one is not confirmed. I won't be able to confirm this probably until tomorrow at the earliest. It may be Friday. But here's the issue here, Lee. The daily time frame says, okay, 1571 and a quarter order may be the top. To the downside, you're looking between 1527 and 1534. So it may, it may be that price point where the Russell 2000 equity futures contract is headed to. I don't know. I just know there's a new profile. It's bullish and structural. There's significant support down there. I didn't have that information this morning. Um, and I don't know that this information is going to hold during the day. I'm using a, an advanced tool that needs to be confirmed. It usually takes 24 to 48 hours. That would be tomorrow or Friday out there. So that's what I see in taking a look at. Now, I did say we would look at the 30-minute time frame chart out here for the Russell. So let's pull that over. Just see what it is doing pattern wise and you know what you didn't like on a 30 minute time frame this chart also is included each morning with the um with the newsletter so people understand the support resistance areas i've got a new tool that my programmer has developed and i'll get that installed over the uh, over the next uh, tonight well on today tomorrow whenever i do that will have prices on these lines so i don't have to figure that out but uh, here price broke through support on a 30 minute time frame really not that great the next support level out here is down at the price point of 1552.20 i don't see any bottoming signal at least inside the 30 minute time frame chart for the uh, russell 2000 equity futures contract so i hope that information helps you out and yeah, thanks for the good wishes the well wishes and uh, best of luck with that uh, trade um hector writes in and ask about harmony any thoughts there he's wanting to buy this down at about the 161 level so let's go take a look at a three time frame chart for ticker symbol hmy and i'll get that uh, try to get that going on my other system as well and uh, you're looking at 161 so price is trading right up into the daily top of its box its resistance area and uh, if we take a look at that that's 227 um, if price closes over that, then says that it wants to move higher. It's taken on a swing point that had 18 million shares with 4 million shares. So, you know, you've got the, it's always this is this is a very difficult week uh, to really use some trading signals such as volume as an example out there. Now, if you see big volume, that is a positive. And you see light volume. Shoot, I don't even know what that means. But here's the issue with regard to Harmony. And, and we may have covered this, Hector, which it did form a TD setup nine count top. Big old key reversal bearish engulfing session out here. If that high gets taken out, the high, by the way, out there is 231, that this has got momentum and wants to continue to move higher out here. So today could just be a counter trend ish type rally, just like gold, maybe a counter trend rally out here. It's also on its two hour chart, or yeah, it's two hour chart. It's got that TD setup nine count pattern. Remember the, the top wouldn't necessarily have to form on this bar. So the one that ends at two, it could be the one at four because this bar is eight, nine. This is going to be bar nine. I'm not showing it. We took a look at that earlier or the bar following nine out there. So <clears throat> I hope that helps you out with regard to Harmony um, and uh, with regard to the pullback. 207 right now is the first level that you would be watching. That's the bottom of its daily profile out there. If you get below that, um, then we'll have to take a look what other patterns might be uh, underway at that uh, stage out there. So uh, that takes care of all of the questions that have come in uh, thus far. Oh, wait, wait a minute here. Uh, Mike wrote in. Uh, sorry, Mike, I did not mean to overlook yours. Uh, wants to take a look at LRCXL. 
LRCX out here. That is Lamb Research, LRCX. That's a finish reading Mike's question in Sarasota. So I looked at it on June 18th for you, looking for an entry, considering about 188. The question there, 181, will pull back that far. So uh, excellent question. Um, one, 174 would be the bottom of its profile. The problem is price is trading above the top of the profile right now, which is 186.13. So I will say price must close below 186.13. Doesn't have to be today, um, but must close below 186.13 before we can take this lower level swing point, which the bottom of the box, you'll notice there's the center of the box is missing. It's because it's loaded up right there at the bottom of the box too. So 174.67 uh, could be a significant level of support or should be for lamb research out here i don't have any topping pattern i just have look a consolidation between about 195 and 171 give or take out there mike hope that helps you out have a happy fourth of july we'll be right back for the two minute wrap steve rhodes with tfnn Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got mixed markets out here, um, and we're just simply not going to read too much into the markets today. Tomorrow, shortened trading session, as you know, 
uh, closes at 1 o'clock, so I won't be with you tomorrow. Friday, I'll be uh, doing the show from 8 to 9 in the morning, uh, replayed at 1 to 2, so I'll try to make it pertinent if uh, you can't listen in from 8 to 9. But if you can, would love to uh, would love to see you then. We'll take a look and see what the futures markets are communicating to us. So we did that last Friday. Uh, we were looking for clues before the uh, weekend out there, and uh, and what we said last Friday was that the markets were suggesting that uh, we were going to see a move higher in the equity markets, and we were going to see a move lower in gold, and we were going to see a move lower in T-bonds. Turns out that all three of those things actually uh, Sunday evening uh, and yesterday uh, really came to uh, fruition. So we'll try to, to do the best to see what the message of the markets is. What the message of the markets is at the moment, and Brent kind of hit the nail on the head when he called earlier, was uh, we're really watching the Dow or the Dow Equity Futures contract. Both show the same pattern, which is Stevie's topping signal. Uh, that's that Rose Momentum indicator top out there. So we're going to want to pay close attention and watch for the first bearish reversal candle to form, uh, combined with a close below, at least in this case, 26,588 on the Dow Equity Futures contract. And then it would really need a close below the bottom of its daily profile. 26.374 to confirm that. Uh, and we're also going to watch the New York Stock Exchange. We're going to watch, really, the, it's, it would really be the combination of the following. One, we're going to watch the New York Stock Exchange and see if that advanced decline oscillator uh, closes below zero. We're not there yet. We have... We have a topping pattern that is in play out here, but we don't have the confirmation. And we also want to pay attention to that spot volatility index. Plenty of liquidity in the market, even on a light volume trading session, because that spot volatility index is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. It's trading at 15.57 versus, I'm sorry, it's trading at 13.46 versus the 50-day at 15.57. The problem is, Spot VIX is below its 50 to 1 Bollinger Band, the lower Bollinger Band out there. So, folks, have a happy 4th of July. Tune in Friday morning, 8 to 9. Uh, Monday will also be from 8 to 9. And uh, be safe. Have a great holiday. I look forward to uh, speaking with you soon. Take care.